It's Wednesday, the 20th of May. My name's Juan Brown. You're watching the Blanco Lirio channel and breaking news. Both the Edenville, the dam at Wixom Reservoir, the Edenville Dam, and the Sanford Dam have apparently failed. The emergency spillways associated with these two dams were unable to keep up with the inundation of flood water from the Titabawasi River in Michigan. Let's go inside and look at the Google Maps and show you what's going on. Titabawasi River starts headwaters begin north of Highway 30 and flow down into the first of a series of four reservoirs. The first reservoir being Secord Lake, whose dam and spillway structure is located right here. Here's the gated spillway structure, concrete, and here's the earth-filled dam on either side of the gated spillway structure, and I believe this section is the emergency spillway structure slightly lower than the rest of the earth-filled dam and the gated structure. The water then flows back into the river and down to the next lake, Smallwood Lake, whose dam is located right here with a concrete gated spillway structure. I believe maybe a small power plant right here, earth-filled dam, and here to the left of the Earthfield Dam, looking downstream, would be your emergency spillway structure. Again, located slightly lower than the rest of the dam. These series of reservoirs are controlled by Earthfield Dams, and if there's one thing we learned during the Oroville Dam experience, is that if an Earthfield Dam is overtopped, it will fail. So in order to protect your Earthfield Dam, your normal spillway is protected and the dam is protected by an emergency spillway. An emergency spillway is just a low portion, a lower levee than the rest of the dam structure to allow water to flow over in an uncontrolled fashion to prevent water from overtopping the rest of the earth-filled dam. An emergency spillway is just that, only to be used in the event of an emergency. And what it does, as a slow blow fuse, it buys you time. It allows time for a more orderly evacuation of the population below the dam, as opposed to a completely uncontained sudden release of all the water from the main dam. Back into the river and down to the third lake in the series, Wixom Lake and Edenville Dam. Now, Wixom Lake is kind of split into two by Highway 30 here. This Highway 30 is built on a levee structure with a small water passage underneath this bridge, which necessitates two gated spillway structures. Here's the first concrete gated spillway structure. And over here, the second gated concrete spillway structure located right here with a small power plant from the Boyce Power Company. In between is... Well, throughout this whole side of the lake is the earth-filled dam. And over here, I believe, is your emergency spillway structure for this dam. Again, this levee being slightly lower than the rest of the dam structure, dam and spillway structure, to allow for uncontained emergency flow of water should this reservoir become overwhelmed. And here's what it looked like yesterday, 19 May, during a flyover. Below Edenville Dam and Wixom Reservoir is the last reservoir, Sanford Dam and Reservoir, located right here, which is apparently also being overwhelmed at this time. Here's your Earthfield Dam. Here's your gated concrete spillway structure, another power plant located right here. And I believe this would be your emergency spillway structure located right here. But apparently this too has been overwhelmed and this dam has failed. So the water continues downstream into the town of Midland, which is being flooded at this time. The Titabawasi River converges with the Shiawasi River, forming the Saginaw River going through 
downtown Saginaw, Michigan, into the Saginaw Bay and Lake Huron. So it appears that both the Edenville Dam and Sanford Dam, the last two dams in that series of four lakes, are failing at this time. So that reminds us all to heed the warnings of the emergency responders, get out of the way. If anybody who lives in a flood control area needs to have their own flood insurance, your normal house insurance will not insure you in the event of a flood. You need separate insurance for this. If you don't have it, you're out of luck. Boys Hydro that owns these four dams has been under fire from FERC for just this reason, not having enough emergency spillway flood protection built into these over 50-year-old earth-filled dams. This is a lesson we've all learned here in California, and our spillway dam structures are being updated throughout the state of California slowly to accommodate higher degrees of flooding and to be able to have retain greater control of the reservoir during flood, flooding situations. That's the whole reason for spillways and emergency spillways is to retain control of the reservoir. Once you lose control of the reservoir and the water, if the water ever tops an earth-filled dam, that earth-filled dam will fail. So look forward to your comments below. Anybody that's intimately familiar with these dam structures or, or Boyce Hydro. But the main thing is get out of the way of this water at this time. We'll get further updates as this situation develops. I look forward to any aerial or drone footage of this that we can share with you later. Thanks so much for your support. We'll keep you posted. See you here.